pretty much in limbo. He's been in limbo for, for two months already. Tonight at 9, more major water problems at a high-rise apartment complex in San Francisco after the luxury apartments at 33 Tahama Street. They flooded again. It is the second time in just two months. Thanks for joining us. I'm Vicki Liviakis. Yeah, this has been a mess. I'm Catherine Hina. Nobody has lived in the building since the first water main failure in June. Now residents are worried about yet another roadblock to returning to their homes. Cronfor's Taylor Basaki has the story. My life has been completely disrupted because of this. Kaylee Jordan is in disbelief that her San Francisco apartment at 33 Tehama has flooded yet again. Residents at the building took this new video Wednesday night as they relived the nightmare from June 3rd when a water main failure sent 20,000 gallons of water surging down 35 floors of the high-rise apartments. Building management company Heinz says this most recent incident happened at the same location of the original flooding that left the building uninhabitable. Last night at around 6 p.m. we got a notification that the building is no longer accessible for mail packages. Um, they were letting people in to just pretty much pack up and move. Jordan planned to move the rest of her belongings out of the damaged apartments on Thursday, but has been told no one is allowed back into the building due to this most recent flooding. She and 500 other residents have been living in hotels or short-term rentals for two months. I've been living out of two suitcases since June 3rd. Um, I mean, I've been able to go back into the building and like get stuff, but it's not, I don't have a significant place to stay right now. Last month, Heinz told residents they would no longer provide housing reimbursements after August 17th, despite tenants not being able to reoccupy the building until late 2022, early 2023. It's now unclear if this second disaster will push back that timeline. My goal is to just get my stuff, resume my life as like houses, have as much communication as possible and just get myself because I don't know what's going on, but a lot of it. Everyone's like pretty much going insane. Heinz says it's in the process of assessing the damage and it's unsure when residents can return to grab their belongings. In San Francisco, Taylor Bisaki, Cron 4 News.